Chapter 22 Thus saith the Lord, Go down to the house of the king of Judah, and speak there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sittest upon the throne of Dod, thou, and thy Sarawants, and thy people that enter in by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Execute ye ijment and righteousness, and deliver the spoiler out of the hand of the oppressor, and do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, the featherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in this place. For if ye do this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house, kings sitting upon the throne of Dod, riding in chariots and on horses, he, and his servants, and his people. But if ye will not hear these words, I swear by myself, saith the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus saith the Lord Vinto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Galid Vinto me, and the head of Lebanon, yet surely I will make thee a wilderness, and cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, Uri one with his weapons, and they shall cut down thy choice cedars, and cast them into the fire. And many nations shall pass a by this city, and they shall say Uri man to his neighbor, Wherefore hath the Lord done thus Vinto this great city? Then they shall answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods, and shrewed them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goeth away, for he shall return no more, nor see his nation country. For thus saith the Lord touching Shalem, the son of Iosha king of Judah, which reigned instead of Iosha his father, which went forth out of this place, he shall not return thither any more. But he shall die in the place whither they have led him capture, and shall see this land no more. Woven to him that buildeth his house by righteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that saith his neighbor's sruce without wages, and jeweth him not for his work, that saith, I will build me a white house and large chambers, and cutteth him out windows, and it is sealed with cedar, and painted with vermilion. Shalt thou reign because thou closest thyself in cedar? Did not thy father eat and drink, and do judgment and justice? And then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy. Then it was well with him. Was not this to know me, saith the Lord? But thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy quotusness, and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence to do it. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning Iahoiakim, the son of Iosha king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, a my brother, or a sister, they shall not lament for him, saying, A Lord, or a his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of Anus, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go VP to Lebanon, and cry, and lift VP thy voice in Bashan, and cry from the passages, for all thy lures are destroyed. I spake then to thee in thy prosperity, but thou saidest, I will not hear. This hath been thy manner from thy youth, that thou abatest not my voice. The wind shall eat vip all thy pastors, and thy lures shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O oh, inhabitant of Lebanon, that makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when pangs come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in trowel. As I lie, saith the Lord, though Cunia the son of Ihoikim king of Iuda were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence, and I will jew thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest, you and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bear thee into another country where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land wherein till they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man Konya a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days.
For no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting on the throne of Dod, and ruling any more in Judah. Chapter 23 Woe be Vinto, the pastures that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastures that feed my people, ye how scattered my flock and dry on them away, and how not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the ewe of your doings, saith the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock, out of all countries whither I how dry on them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall fruitful and increase. And I will set feepy shepherds o'er them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the dies come, saith the Lord, that I will raise Bento a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall sod, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord Louith, which brought VP the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Louith, which brought VP, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had dry on them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine hath our comb, because of the Lord, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried feepy, and their course is yule, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house how I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their way shall vento them as slippery ways in the darkens, they shall dry you on and fall therein. For I will bring you upon them, you in the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I how seen folly in the prophets of Samaria, they prophesied in Baal, and caused my people Israel to err. I how seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing, they commit adultery, and walk in lies, they strengthen also the hands of you doers that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them Ventomi as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink the water of gall, for from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not Vinto the words of the prophets that profess even to you, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still vento them that despise me. The Lord hath said, Ye shall how peace. And they say vento Yuri one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart. No, you shall come find you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and hath pursued, and heard his word? Who hath marked his word, and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. You in a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously on the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return, until he how executed, until he how performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I how not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I how not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should how turn them from their ill way and from the yule of their doings. Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill hoan and earth, saith the Lord. I how heard what the prophets said, that profession lies in my name, saying, I how dreamed, I how dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that profession lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell Yuri man to his neighbor, as their fathers how forgotten my name, for Baal. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Sith the Lord, is not my word like as a fire, 
saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my word Uri one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that say their tongues, and say, he saith. Behold, I am against them that profess ye false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profite this people at all, saith the Lord. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will you and forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the prophet, and the priest, and the people that shall say, The burden of the Lord, I will you and punish that man and his house. Thus shall ye say, Uri one to his neighbor, and Uri one to his brother, What hath the Lord answered? And what hath the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more. For Uri man's word shall be his burden, for ye how prorted the words of the lying God, of the Lord of hosts our God. Thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee? And what hath the Lord spoken? But sith he say, The burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, Because you say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I how sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say, The burden of the Lord. Therefore behold, I you and I will sternly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gow you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring in your lasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten. Chapter 24 The Lord shewed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord. After that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon had carried away Capshi Iaconia, the son of Iahoiakim king of Judah, and the princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, you and like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. Then said the Lord unto me, What seest thou, Iremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good in the yule, very yule, that cannot be eaten, they are so yule. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, so will I acknowledge them that are carried away capture of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. For I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them, and not pull them down, and I will plant them, and not pluck them vp. And I will do them in heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return vento me with their whole heart. And as the yule figs which cannot be eaten, they are so yule. Surely thus saith the Lord, so will I do Zedekiah the king of Judah, and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem, that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will deliver them to be remout into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, to be a reproach and a proverb, a taunt and a curse in all places whither I shall drew them. And I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they be consumed from off the land, that I gave unto them, and to their fathers, 